Well, people watch my videos. My name is Robert Crable. This video is going to be a trailer review for the latest Captain America Civil War trailer. A lot's happened in this trailer. Foreshadowing. I've been doing movie trailer reviews for a while. I have kind of started doing them. I don't really know why I didn't do Captain America Civil War, but I'm doing it right now because this latest trailer has a lot and something very special. So let's just get right into it and watch the trailer and examine it and do stuff. Here we go. This job, we try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. It's cool. But you don't give up. Marvel. Footage. New York. That's not security camera footage. Washington, D.C. Sokovia. Okay, that's enough. Captain, people are afraid. That's Black That's Panther, by the way. We need to be put in check. Whatever form that takes, I'm game. I'm sorry, Tony. If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Sometimes I wish I could. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I know we're not perfect. But the safest hands are still our own. the one that needs to watch their back. This doesn't have to end in a fight, Tony. <laughs> Bitch slap. You just started a war. Fuck that. Man. Crossbones. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. This is the first one. All right, I've run out of patience. On the roof! Hey, everyone. Well, welcome home, Spidey. So let's just get right into it, okay? Because there's some stuff that I need to talk about. The very first shot of this trailer is in this, like, weird Icelandic landscape. There's a mountain in the distance and inside this kind of like bunker you see these two guards putting keys into like the two separate locks. It's like a two-man job so it's like they're kind of dressed like maybe like Russian soldiers or something. So I think this might be some kind of like Russian bunker or something that they're obviously holding Bucky in, the Winter Soldier. And this shot just looks so creepy. This honestly looks like almost from an entirely different movie. How Bucky is strung up like that is just so creepy. It's like, ah, oh, he's strung up like a science experiment and it's just smoke machine and lights. Do you ever notice how in every Marvel movie, the whole flashing comic books for the title Marvel Studios, do you ever notice how in every separate trailer, at least I think, there's kind of like a selective couple of images that last longer on screen that like put the image inside your head. Like for example, in this trailer, you can see like flashes of the comic book, the normal style of, you know, introducing Marvel Studios, the title sequence. But you can see like a longer last, like a couple longer lasting images of, you know, the missile and also the Winter Soldier's mechanical arm. Those last a little bit longer for this movie. And that kind of happens with every Marvel movie. Like, go rewatch some of the old Marvel trailers for, like, Ultron or Captain America or Iron Man or something, and you'll see just, it's a little bit different, isn't it? 
They've been just insane. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it when the Avengers are being sat down and showed security footage, and when there's security footage of Sokovia, Scarlet Witch's hometown, Cap sees that it's bothering her, and he's just like, That's enough. Okay, that's enough. It's just... Good guy Cap. <sighs> he's just so nice. And if you didn't notice, this guy right here... That is Black Panther himself, I think. Outside of his, you know, like, vibranium Black Panther costume armor. And as you can see, he's inside the UN building when it's getting blown up. So I think maybe that is how Black Panther starts in Civil War. Like, this is what kind of, like, sets him off. This is what gets him, like, engaged in everything. Maybe. I don't know. What I think this trailer really does well, it really communicates the whole message of what Civil War is about. You didn't really get much of that in the other trailers. Well, I mean, you kind of did. But this just defines it even more so people really understand what Civil War is about. Especially when Tony says, We need to be put in check. Like, that's why they're fighting. Tony wants people, the heroes, to be put in check and held reliable. The government holding them reliable for all the damage that they caused and all the mayhem. But Cap doesn't want that because with Cap's whole Winter Soldier movie of Hydra infiltrating the government right under everyone's noses, Cap doesn't trust the government anymore. So Cap believes that the government should not be involved and should not hold heroes responsible. And Tony thinks that they need to be held responsible. That's how it goes in the cinematic universe. In the comic books, Civil War is all about secret identities and everything. In the comic books, Captain America believes that everyone should have a secret identity and should keep that to keep themselves and their families safe. But Tony believes that the government should know who the superheroes really are so they can be held accountable. It's kind of the same thing both in the comic books and the movie. It's kind of the same thing both in the comic books and the movie. But they obviously need to change around a little bit because in the cinematic universe, there's practically no one except Ant-Man and now like Black Panther and Spider-Man who have secret identities. Because literally everyone knows who everyone is. Everyone knows that Captain America is Steve Rogers, Tony Stark is Iron Man, Natasha Romanoff is Black Widow. They know, like, everyone. Anyway, continuing. And this right here, this giant, like, underwater, circular disc prison that rises up from the ocean, that is... the thing. The place. What's it called? I forgot what it's called. This is, it's like a prison for out-of-control superheroes and villains, but it has, like, a special name for it. What's it called? Oh, wait a minute. I'll just look it up. Yeah? No. Yes. Where is it? Where am I going? I can't find it! One minute. Ah. Okay, here we go. I'm on Marvel Universe Wiki. Eventually the Resistance mounted an attack against the Pro Registrations holding facility in the negative zone. This place, this prison that you're seeing right here in the trailer, I believe that is Prison 42, as, re as it is referred to in the comic books. Do you want to know why this shot right here is the most intense shot in any of the Civil War trailers? Let me break it down for you. Everyone in the Marvel Universe gets shot at all the time, both in their armor and also as just normal people. But what makes this shot so jarring and just so dramatic is the look on Tony's face. Robert Downey Jr., RDJ, has this surprised look on his face when he covers the gun that Bucky has and Bucky still shoots at him. And Tony obviously blocks it with his cool Iron Man watch hand, but the look on Tony's face gives this just a completely new feel. Just that one look on Tony's face totally changes the entire feel of that scene. He gets shot at all the time, and you know, it doesn't really phase him, but with that look of him being surprised like, holy shit, you just tried to shoot me. That changes everything. It makes it just so much more real and gives it this more totally dangerous feel to it. The danger is real. This trailer is kind of like the other ones, but it has a lot more new shots, along with more extended clips of shots that you've seen in the other trailers, like Rhodey getting shot down and is unconscious or dead. 
We don't know. And what Tony says, what I'm assuming is the cap, right here. I was wrong about you. The whole world was wrong about you. Oh my God. You really get a sense of how opposed Cap and Iron Man are in this movie. Tony is just like, he doesn't care anymore. He's just like, he's done. He hates Cap, like for real. There is like no salvaging their friendship. Like this phrase, with no music or anything, just Tony talking, what I assume is about Captain America, is just like, oh my God. I'm not the one that needs to watch their back. I love this one shot when Black Widow is talking with Tony in the Avengers facility at the balcony. I just love Tony's expression after Black Widow says, I'm not the one who needs to watch their back. And Tony is just like, oh. I think my favorite shot in this trailer besides Spider-Man, would have to be this one shot right here of Captain America and Iron Man inside like the facility where Bucky was being kept, I assume. And it's the look on Tony's face is just like pure hatred and resentment. And then Tony just straight up bit slaps Captain America across the room. Ah. Oh my God. And also you get a little bit more Black Panther in this trailer with him in his claws and he's all like, Okay, all right. Oh, because, like, I was weirded out because I was like, how is the vision on one of the teams? First of all, the vision is all about life, and, like, that's it. That's all he cares about is, you know, the side of life. So how could he be on one of the sides? Not only that, but also how do you expect to fight when you have vision on your side? Vision can, like, disintegrate anyone like, there's no beating him, even all together. But now I realize that, like, Scarlet Witch is actually a fair match for him, at least here in the trailer. Because with all of her red, she's, like, holding the vision down, and it's just like, oh my god. Whoa. <gasps> oh my god. Like, you don't know who's gonna win. Well, you do if you're at the comic books. Then you see Hawkeye shoot an arrow, and then there's Ant-Man, of course, being the size of an ant. That's cool. I'm really excited to see, like, his style of fighting all miniature and everything. Like, the style of Ant-Man, like, with Civil War, when Ant-Man's fighting, him all small and everything, I just think that's going to look amazing. With all these gigantic explosions and, like, fighting and everything, I think that's going to look so cool. Crossbones. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. Damn it. This is just so good. You do realize that's what Captain America said in the very first Captain America movie, right? Before he was even Captain America? It's just... Oh my god! Alright, I've run out of patience. On to Roos! Hey everyone. And now we've arrived at the infamous last shot of this Civil War trailer that features Marvel Spider-Man. And oh my god. Dot dot dot. I don't know. I simply do not know, folks. Because it's perfect how they introduce him. How, like... I was hoping that they would have, like, a web somewhere in there to tease him or something like that, to, like, tease that it's Spider-Man in the movie, but he web grabs Cap's shield, and then, like, awesome superhero stance on this, like, truck or something, and it's glorious. And then he just says... Hey, everyone. It's like, you know he's talking to everyone, like, in the movie, like, all the Avengers fighting. But it's like, it's also a nod to us, the fans, because we want to see him so bad. And it's like, hi! The only reason 
I'm not sure about this, is just the look of him. He, ah, I don't know. I personally just don't know how I feel about this. Because here are some of the main things that are bothering me. He looks like he's made entirely out of rubber. Like there's no suit, he just is a rubber man. And also the spider, it's just so small. And his eyes. Oh, Dead Deadpool worked out fine, let's try that. No, like I don't really like the whole eye movement thing. That's not how Spider-Man ever was. Maybe in the cartoons, yeah, in like the comic books, the more cartoony comic books maybe, but like Spider-Man, he has a suit. He doesn't need like Deadpool eyes, you know? He just has, you know, like glass things. He just has like eye socket holes that are like glass, you know? But I don't know about this whole, but I don't know about this whole like weird shudder thing. And you can like, it has a weird sound too when he squints at the end, it's like, there's that subtle web hissing noise. I just don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm so happy that Spider-Man is finally back, but this suit looks kind of weird. But then again, it's amazing. It's just, it's so good. It's so colorful and bright. But then again, it's just like weird, isn't it? When I read a post somewhere about the Civil War trailer and the final, like, finally a shot of Spider-Man, one good look at him, I read something like how they kind of made it so the eyes are kind of like different shutters, almost like a camera's aperture, you know, like photography. I thought, oh, that makes it a little bit cooler. But still, when I first saw this trailer, yeah, I, I've watched, the, this, that was my seventh time watching this trailer, by the way. The first time, I was just like, oh god. Ooh. That's a bold move, Marvel. So, I, I just don't know. But then again, it looks really cool. But then again, I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like if I give it time and I see a lot more of it, then I'll grow accustomed to it. Because we all kind of have to. This is Spider-Man now. This is the Spider-Man we've been waiting for. So we can't complain. But that's that's about it. That's that's my Civil War final trailer review. Hopefully this is the final trailer because this trailer showed so much and just gave us so much. It's just so good. It's a perfect last trailer. Marvel knows that everyone is obviously super hyped for this movie, so they don't need to advertise it a bunch more. They don't need to do what DC did with Dawn of Justice, Batman vs Superman, when they just threw in Doomsday for some reason, completely changing the entire Batman vs Superman storyline. But I feel like this is perfect. If they do another Civil War trailer, I'm afraid they're gonna show too much because this is showing just enough and we're already super excited and millions are already going to go see this. So I think it's fine. Marvel, just, we're good. Thank you. Let's wait until the premiere. Like, don't spoil anything else. Now that you're not that you're spoiling anything, but still, you know what I mean. And honestly, what I think Civil War as a movie is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I feel like it's the beginning of like. I just feel like it's the beginning of everything Marvel because like these past movies, you know, like with Iron Man and Thor and Captain America, like. It was just, yeah, okay, and, and like Ant-Man 2, it was like, okay, like that's Marvel. But with movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, and also Doctor Strange and Black Panther and Captain Marvel, I feel like these movies, like Civil War, Civil War is the next movie, and I feel like it's kind of like the next chapter of Marvel as well. I feel like everything coming after Civil War is going to be just straight up, Marvel comic book genuine awesomeness. Not just because Marvel has been on a on a freaking hot streak of great movies. I'm talking about like just like straight from the comic book like adapted for the big screen just good comic book movie awesomeness. Because just look at everyone in this movie. You have everyone. You have Captain America, a super soldier. You have Tony Stark in the Iron Man suit. You have Ant-Man, who can shrink. Scarlet Witch, who's like a witch. The Vision, who's like a human cyborg robot thing. And Bucky, who's a cyborg. And Hawkeye, who can shoot arrows and stuff. And Black Widow, who's an assassin. And now Spider-Man. 
Spider-Man. It's like, everyone, this movie is the beginning of, like, everything. This is the beginning. This is where Marvel starts to get a lot more superhero-y, if that makes sense. That's just what I think. Anyway, well that's my trailer review of Captain America Civil War Trailer 2. If you like this video and you want to see more, you can click right here. Right here in this little graphic that I'll eat out, that'll, that fucked it up. Damn it, it's kind of hard, you know, I just, I try to do a good video. I want, I want these trailer reviews to be shorter so people watch them, because not everyone has a half hour. Anyway, I'm Robert Crable, and well, that's the end of the video. Thank you.